Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Jordan of the Fear Razor, and here today, I'm gonna be- Okay, you know what? I, I should probably finish this mint before I tell this story. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love mints. I eat them like candy. Okay, alright, that's better. <laughs> but here today, guys, I'm gonna be telling you a story about something that happened in my younger life about five years ago. Wait, no, six years ago. Oh my god, I'm getting old. Back in grade 10, back in high school, okay, I got my first crush, and, you know, I I really liked her. But, anyways, you know, I, I got to know her better, and then, you know, I eventually became friends with her. But, as time went on, you know, I wanted, I wanted more, you know, I wanted to take it to the next level. And the next level wasn't asking her out, the next level was, well, to me anyways, was asking for her MSN account username. That's right, I asked what her MSN was, but, you know, I, I got her MSN, and, you know, I started to talk to her more. And, well, you know, we spoke every night, and I remember I used to get so excited to talk to her on MSN and just chat with her. And, you know, I, I, I was getting, I was starting to get a little more brave. But at the same time, I wasn't too sure if I wanted to take it to the next level, which was, you know, asking her out. Because, again, I was shy, I'd never gone out with a girl before, and I remember that I had, I, I kind of was, I was a little sly, I was... I asked if she would like to hang out outside of school, and this was where things got a little um, got a little weird for me because I liked this girl, but her response to me asking her if she'd like to go outside or hang or something was not what I wanted to hear, which was essentially uh, I don't know, like maybe maybe we could hang out or something. I don't know, like we'll. See. I think she said like she'll see, and I didn't take that the right way. I took that as a she doesn't like me. But, you know, I kept trying, and I feel like this was, like, the first time I ever experienced the friend zone. It was becoming really obvious that, um, I was getting weird signs that she didn't like me as much as I kind of liked her. And I remember there was one night, one faithful night, I sat down on my computer and I was like, I'm gonna do it. This is the night I'm going to find out. And I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I sat down sweating. I was like... <sighs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then, like, I typed it out. I typed out, do you think you'd ever want to go on a date with me? I typed that out on my, on my MSN. And I remember, I just kept looking at it. I just needed to hit enter. I just needed to hit that button, and it was gonna send, and there was no turning back. But I didn't do it. So, I remember, I told one of her friends that I liked her. And I asked her if she could maybe find out if she's interested in me. And obviously, I regretted this back then. I don't regret it now. I remember... I remember I asked her if she could find out for me. And then she got back to me. And she told me that this girl I had a crush on looked at me like a brother. She didn't look at me any other way other than like a friend, a brother, whatever, like the typical I don't like him, but I like him as a brother. Just really just not something, you know, you want to hear. Hey, I, I really didn't take it very well. I, I remember for like two weeks, I actually sank into like a really bad depression. The, there was one faithful day where I ended up meeting a girl and after these two weeks and she's now my girlfriend. Literally after two weeks of being in depression, I actually met a girl who is now currently my girlfriend. And that was six years ago. So, you know, a sad story that turned into a happy ending. And I don't, I don't regret it. I mean, looking back then, I regretted the decisions that were made. But now I don't, because that was just not a good... Like, it was very obvious that it wasn't meant to be. And I accepted that. And I found the right person after. So... Just know that it's okay to be a little scared. It's okay to feel nervous. It's all a part of growing up. And you know what? Just figure things out at your on your own time, at your own pace, and the right person will come. You just need to you just need to have a little hope. 